Now an update on those dolphins who were stranded at the Jersey Shore today. Six rescued dolphins are now dead. A short time ago, marine officials had to euthanize them. They were part of that pod that washed ashore. Madeline Wright is live in Seattle City with the very latest on this very sad story. Madeline. Sad indeed, Jessica. Good evening. This is the exact spot on the sand where those dolphins were found. You can see high tide is coming in and filling the hole. The guy who called 911 tells me there's a gully that runs along the beach that the dolphins don't usually go past. But he says in this case, the dolphins swam straight in. To the surf. Off the jetty. Sea Isle City Police roped off the beach with caution tape after eight dolphins washed ashore near 52nd Street and Pleasure Avenue around 11 o'clock Tuesday morning. It's very sad. At the time, two were dead. Tim Ramsey spotted the six that were still alive. Six big dolphins just kind of flapping around on the beach. I was kind of stunned for 30 seconds or so and uh, watched him for. Less than a minute, call the police. About half a dozen officers and public works crews spent hours pouring buckets of seawater onto the dolphins to keep them alive, while dozens of onlookers watched. They're working, but I mean, you get dolphins washed up on the beach, that's, that's a tough thing to see. Many onlookers wondered why workers didn't put the dolphins back into the water immediately. One worker tells me it's because they were waiting for a doctor to arrive to do an assessment. The six that are alive were are taken by the Marine Mammal Stranding Center back to Brigantine. The dolphins were lifted and loaded onto a truck, but the Marine Mammal Stranding Center says the six remaining dolphins had to be euthanized because their condition was deteriorating. I know that there's been a lot of marine life that has washed up on shore recently in the area. I think that what would be best is to find um, the actual root cause. Nicole Ragucci says she saw 30 to 50 dolphins swimming in the ocean right before this happened. To see them in their natural habitat having seemingly a wonderful time to now the whole family or the whole pod is here is just really shocking. Officials say the dolphins will be brought to the New Jersey State Lab for a necropsy. They hope to determine what caused the dolphins to get stranded. Live in Sea Isle City, Madeline Wright, CBS News, Philadelphia. I know you'll keep us updated. Madeline, thank you.